What is going on guys, it's Armada, and today we got the final Wonder Weapon Upgrade Guide, which is the Reaper. And now I've gotta say, before we start this, this is a, it's a pretty hard one. And also I'd like to state out that many people actually don't like the Reaper, so you might have to build it first and then see your opinion on it. But so far the community don't really go after the Reaper that much, but I find it not that bad actually. And I feel like everyone just hates on it because the steps for this is really, really hard. But luckily I found some really easy tips to make this much easier. So yeah. I just wanted to point that out there before we actually get started. Something that really helps when you're upgrading the Tesla gun to the Reaper is having the Shell Shock class on because this ultimate is actually really helpful for this step. I find that to be very useful for upgrading the Tesla weapon to the Reaper. But yeah, with all that being said, let's get to it. Head over to this sewer place where we unlocked Pack-a-Punch and once you go to round 11, you'll see this Mangler Zombies, people call it Big Birthers, whatever you guys call them, shoot him, he'll run after you and you're gonna have to take it for the team because basically there's this hollow metal and he'll hit it and then a battery will drop. So yeah, quickly go over there, pick it up and really nearby there should be a battery holder that you can just press square to place the battery in. So now you can just take out this big birther and yeah, we can continue. Usually I always say to have the Tesla weapon before we upgrade it, but this one I recommend you to not have the Tesla weapon. I know it sounds dumb, but it will make sense later. What we're gonna need now is four bomber kills. Now this is really hard, but luckily for you guys, I have an easy way of doing this. When you're on your way down, there'll be four zombies and using the shell shock power up, make sure you guys stun these guys, shoot these heads over here that are holding the bomb. This will make it so, so easy to do because they won't blow up and actually kill all the zombies around you. So killing these little guys that are holding the bombs really should make it much more helpful. Again, you don't have to do it when you buy the salt mine. You can also do this when like you see two random bomb zombies in the middle of nowhere. Just use your ultimate, stun them, and then shoot the guys that are holding the bomb and then head over to this trap. Once you make it to the trap, activate this trap, which by the way, it's a salt trap, and head over to this battery. The battery will then go green, letting you know that you gotta kill them now, and so the saws will come, they'll take out the bomb zombies, and yeah, little red bolts of lightning will come inside the battery, and yeah. You then need to do this one more time because you got to do this step twice for some reason. It just adds on to how difficult this is. It took me absolutely forever to do this. Get two more bomber zombies and stun them and shoot the little guys on their backs and they'll drop the bomb, bring them to the trap and then you activate the trap. The trap should eventually, you know, kill them. Get this step done. If you guys do need help, make sure you guys help each other out in the comment section below because these are the only tips I can give you and this is a pretty hard one to do. All right, assuming that you charge up the battery and by the way, you know you successfully charge it up when you're able to pick it up. So assuming that you already done that, to go further on to upgrading this, you're gonna need to do the lightning rod step. Now, if you don't know how to get to the lightning rod step, I have a full in-depth guide on how to do it. Unless if you're watching this as soon as it comes out, then it's not there yet. But for people that are in the future, it's already out for you guys and there will be an i little notification at, at the edge of your screen letting you know that this video will actually help you to get to the lightning rod step and more to do the whole easter egg if you guys are interested. Basically the lightning rod step is um, kind of like a tower defense thing. A bunch of zombies will come try to take down that thing that's progressively going higher and you gotta you know defend it and there's a little health bar so good luck all right so i'm just gonna assume that you have already done the lightning rod step pick up your battery i picked up the battery and put it in this little container right here basically this is letting you know that you gotta get everything you think you're gonna need I did absolutely awful on this. Get whatever you think you're gonna need. So if you got any good pack-a-punched weapons, you're pretty set. If you have the Tesla gun or even an upgraded Tesla gun already, 
this is really good for that. Having Jack in the Box is highly recommended. Having your ultimate already charged up can also help. Anything that you think that will benefit you in this step will benefit you. One thing that I find really useful is the bacon and eggs, which is basically the 1911 Pack-a-Punch, which is your starting pistol. Unless if you have that on your loadout, then I really recommend you to do it so you can pack a bunch of it and have the bacon and eggs, which is beastly. So yeah, I actually did terrible on this. I don't know why. Uh, I, I guess it was because I was tired and there was a flamethrower zombie, but yeah. Good luck. But eventually, you'll finish this step, and the generator will then um, do some vibrating stuff. The generator will then give you a piece like it previously did to the Tesla gun. Pick it up, and now you can finally upgrade your Tesla gun. If you haven't already built your Tesla gun, you can still do it now. You can still build the Tesla gun, and then immediately upgrade it to the Reaper. But yeah, you have successfully built the Reaper. If you guys found this guide any bit useful, like if you learned any new tactics on how to build the Reaper, please leave a like and subscribe because it lets me know that you guys enjoy this type of content. Also, make sure you comment down on what you guys want to see and also check out the links in the description because I have a bunch of social media in there like Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and all that stuff. But yeah, Top 5 will be coming soon because I haven't done a face cam in quite a while. That's kind of weird, but um, yeah, Easter egg guide coming next video. Um, I don't know what to say. I'll see you guys. I don't know. I actually don't know when I'm gonna see you. Bye.